By now, you might have heard about the incandescent light bulb phase out, but you might not know what it really is and how it affects you and your household. Hi, I'm Yuka Yoneda, a senior editor at Inhabitat.com, and today I'm going to go over this new federal law with you, as well as how you can save money and energy by swapping out your old light bulbs. First things first, despite what some politicians might have you believe, the new law is not a ban. It's simply setting a higher energy standard for light bulbs. So what does that mean? Basically, it mandates that all new light bulbs sold in stores be at least 25% more efficient and have labels explaining their energy usage. The reason it's being called a phase out is because high wattage bulbs will be cleared off of store shelves over a three year period. In 2012, 100 watt bulbs will be phased out. In 2013, 75 watt bulbs will be phased out. And in 2014, 40 watt and 60 watt bulbs will be phased out. So how will this affect you, and what kind of bulbs will you still be able to find on your store shelves? I'm sure you recognize these 60 watt incandescent bulbs. Right now, they're the most common type of bulbs in most households, but by 2014, they're going to be phased out, and instead, you'll be able to replace them with CFLs or LEDs. But what are the differences? Everyone's familiar with these Curlic CFL lights as a readily available, energy-efficient option. But there are a few drawbacks. First of all, a lot of people don't like the hue that they cast, and they also don't work well with dimmers. Finally, they contain mercury, and if you break one in your house, it can be a real pain to clean up. A great alternative to CFLs is LED light bulbs. In the last few years, LED technology has come a long way, and now LED lights are more energy efficient, produce better quality light, don't contain mercury, and last up to 22 years, far longer than CFLs. Another great thing about LEDs is that they can be used with dimmers. So we've gone over the federal energy mandate and the different types of bulbs. Now let's talk about how to find the best replacements for the bulbs that are currently in your house. A good place to start is by making a list of a couple of key points. The first thing you want to pay attention to is what type of bulb you're trying to replace. This is an A-shaped bulb. They're very common in table lamps, sconces, and for general household lighting. A great replacement for this 60-watt bulb is the 12.5-watt ambient LED. It lasts 16 times longer and will save you $194 over the 22-year life of the bulb. Another common light bulb type is the candle. These are typically found in chandeliers and pendant ceiling lamps. A great replacement for these is the 3.5 watt Deco LED. This lasts 16 times longer than the traditional 25 watt incandescent candle and will save you $59 over the life of the bulb. Another common type of bulb that you'll find in households is the reflector bulb. These are commonly found in recessed can ceiling lights. These are usually halogen bulbs which use a lot of energy. There are many good low energy LED halogen replacements. For example, a 50 watt halogen bulb can be replaced with a 7 watt ambient LED. It lasts 8 times longer and will save $118 over the life of the bulb. The next thing to think about is color temperature. Are you looking for a warm light or a cooler light? Incandescents typically burn at about 2700 to 3000 kelvins, which is an amber color like the color you see here. Daylight, aka sunlight, is much cooler and closer to a white light. Even though the sun looks orange, the light it emits is actually much bluer than indoor lighting. The sun typically shines at 5,500 kelvins, and CFLs and older LEDs are more in that color spectrum. However, newer LED bulbs, like this ambient LED, are designed to glow at a color much closer to an incandescent. The final consideration when swapping out your bulbs is to figure out how much illumination you need for each fixture. A bulb's luminosity is almost always indicated on its packaging, but lucky for you, with these new LEDs, it will also tell you what type of bulb it replaces. Many people still confuse wattage with brightness, but in this day and age of energy efficient lighting, it's important to note that a low wattage bulb can burn just as bright as a high wattage incandescent. For example, this 12.5 watt ambient LED burns just as bright as this 60 watt incandescent. So now that you know how to replace your bulbs, what do you do with your old bulbs? I wish we could tell you that you could just recycle them, but unfortunately it's not that easy. Select IKEAs do have incandescent recycling bins, 
but sadly most of them are just for CFLs. CFLs contain mercury, so it's very important to dispose of them properly so as not to get any mercury vapor in your home. The best way to dispose of them is to take them to a local in-store recycling program, and luckily those are very common at places like IKEA, Lowe's, and Home Depot. Just because there aren't many recycling programs in place for incandescents doesn't mean you can't get crafty and turn it into a cute little vase like this, or make your own light bulb terrarium. You can impress all your family and friends with your awesome recycled creation. Last but not least, you can always save your incandescent bulbs, since in a few years, they'll be like rare antiques. You might even be able to sell them on eBay.